I am the lead motion capture editor here at Ubisoft Toronto. Our job is to provide the animators with different scenes, gameplay, animation loops, cinematics. My favorite part of game art was uh, exploring animation. Learn how to do it in both 2D and 3D was really exciting for me. The game art program focuses on tools and techniques. There's a component of creativity and design involved, but it's more focused on the tools. What kind of tools do you need? What are the techniques? How do they work together to ultimately build the art component of games? Students will build 3D assets. The idea is to get them started in building these small building blocks of a larger level. So the game art program at George Brown, I took the animation path, which allowed me to dig into sort of some of the animation programs, things like Maya, which I actually still use to this day. One of my favorite things we did in the program was at the final year, we had to all work in groups and work together to produce a little movie vignette. So we all had our different roles and we all had our deadlines to meet. And it's very, very similar to working in an actual video game studio. So as much as uh, you learn a lot of technical skills here at George Brown, you also learn a lot of soft skills as well, having to work with some of your students, whether they're from game programming or game art or even in game design. The technology that you get access here at George Brown College is pretty state-of-the-art. All the computers here have all the industry standard software that you ever need. The skills that we see coming out of George Brown are definitely what leads to future employment. George Brown prepared me in the fact that I would not be here without that program. My portfolio that I did through George Brown directly led to my position and where I am now.